Hello everyone! In this video I will be decluttering again. Christian and I are usually quite good at it. As we are renting, we are trying to keep on track of our stuff all the time. But you know, things are happening. So today I will check the shelves and the drawers and will be removing the things which exceeding our needs. So let's get started! The most easy for me is to begin with the wardrobe first, but my kitchen also is hiding some surpluses like five really cute spatulas which you would take on a desert island. And also this couple of tarnished silver tools grinding my gears, but I'll leave it for the next time. In the back of the ladies' museum, I am keeping the things which are not very frequently used. For instance, I haven't baked in this tin for maybe 5 years, but let's be realistic about my baking. I got one more tin, and one is enough for me, so this one definitely can go. I still found the lids from the tumblers that I decluttered, I think, last summer. And those Tupperware boxes are fairly more for keeping the drawer full than for using them. But I know that it would be stupid to get rid of them and then to go and get the new ones again. But I definitely don't need so many Orchidea clips and this monster ruling pen will leave on the day I remember to buy a smaller replacement. You're choking me. I love decluttering. I like when something is ending and I can finally remove it out of my home. Be it a toothpaste or emptied butan refill or its adapters. Oh, so let go. Oh, and this canister came with the coffee machine. It's mean for keeping the milk in it, but milk bottle works just the same. And you don't have to wash it, to dry it, and to wipe it. Useless thing. You're so loud, my ears are ringing. We'll go back to sleep. My time is mine. Don't remember when we needed this cover for the last time. <laughs> when I'm so really fair, I can reach this cupboard also staying on the floor. But from the ladder, opens back of you onto an excitingly dusty surface. So the cluttering often comes with the two-in-one option, removing useless items and cleaning. Win win. I'm trying to keep my wardrobe minimal and usually reviewing it like the most of people when seasons changing. Just don't cover my shine. My thing is my time. Now step aside. Don't cover my shine. This time I've collected really tired bits and pieces. Wearing ones, I would be even embarrassed if I met my neighbors at the mailbox. 
also not flattering and uncomfortable ones. Those red sandals, for instance, are extremely uncomfortable. Some things have no great value in money, but difficult to part with. You know what I mean? Like this smart cover, which I kept next to my bed for months. But in the meanwhile, I got even a new phone, so it really makes no sense to cling on it any longer. Somehow I read once about how to let go the things what we are not using anymore. You have to ask yourself how hard you would be trying to save them if they had a red wine stain on them. For my bijouterie, I have just few favorite things that I'm rotating constantly and I will probably remove the most of my collection with the time. Bye bye Bijou Brigitte and single pieces. For the rest, I got a hanger and Muji organizers. Would you dismantle a sink for getting out the lost earring? Once I did it, and the other time not. Feels like I can fly. You can take me high. I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile. Christian and I are having separate bookshelves on opposite walls. His books are multilingual and my mostly are in Lithuanian language. Today I will tackle those with turned backs. Probably every Lithuanian family possesses those. They were series under the name of the World Literature Library with Mark Twain and Oscar Wilde and also Moby Dick stories there and even an entire Bible. May I help you somehow? No, Katze, you can't read. Okay. Russian writers I am removing from my library today, as I know. I'm never going to read them again. I'm getting asked why I'm keeping my books turned, because they are making the shelves look very dark. And that's the only reason. Now we got few new gaps. But that's okay. Empty places are good for rusty eye. True? I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe could get some inspirations for your home. Thanks for watching. Greetings from Luxembourg. And see you in the next video. Eddie!